Welcome to Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology Revision Quick Revise. This is Stock Forms. Stock Forms. Stock Forms. What are Stock Forms? Stock Forms are simply the range of different materials or different forms that raw materials that we use in design and technology arrive as. For the exam, you need to know about these stock forms. Stock forms of timber. Planks and boards. Both softwoods and hardwoods are available in a range of sizes of planks and boards. The sizes and shapes of natural timber are to a great extent determined by the trees that the wood comes from. You know, you're limited by the size of the tree. And of course, how the conversion of timber has been carried out. And you can see here the um, different types of how wood can be sawn from a, a tree, basically the trunk of a tree. Planks and boards. Planks and boards are available in three standards of finish. These are chosen on if you need a, a rough finish or a very high quality finish. So there's rough sawn. These boards are supplied as they come from the sawmill. These boards may have saw marks or minor irregularities. These are used for building and construction timber. The next is planed square edge. This gives a true edge on two sides, making it easier to carry out further machine processes, for example, cutting it down to a smaller size. And then there is planed all round. This is for a better quality where a good finish is, is required. So that is where the wood has a planed, high quality finish on all four sides. So that is the finish of timber. Softwood mouldings. These are manufactured by using a machine called a spindle moulder. You can see here, spindle moulder has a shaped cutter that cuts the shape of the timber and there's a selection of softwood mouldings. These are used, um, for example, for this home skirting board, which you might see in, in some houses. Dowel. Dowel is usually machined as well from hardwood and is uh, available in a range of diameters. Manufactured boards. Manufactured boards are available in large sheets. Most commonly, most common is a legacy or an eight by four feet size. These sheets are available in various thicknesses ranging from two or three millimeters up to approximately 50 millimeters thickness. So that's manufactured boards. Stock forms of metals. Steel sheet or steel plate. Steel plate is steel that has been rolled out into thin sheets. Thinner sheet is available, often supplied rolled into large drums. And you can see here steel, roll, steel strip or steel sheet rolled into drums. Pressed steel. Pressed steel is malleable, so it can be cold pressed into products like car body panels. And here you can see a car body panel that is even pressed out of mild steel sheet. Um, the hot, how is it made? The hot steel sheets are passed between heavy rollers to gradually reduce their thickness and they produce these stock forms. Steel bar and rod. Steel bar is used for various fabrication jobs. Steel bar is available in a range of sections. Round bar can be processed in the lathe um, to make other different products. We've also got here rebar. Rebar is um, supplied in different um, shapes and is the um, important part of concrete, reinforced concrete. So you can see a reinforced concrete building pillar. Um, H beam, T section and L section. So you can see these are different sections of steel that are supplied in T section. These are all obvious, L section and H section. Sometimes H section is referred to as I beams or rolled steel joists. And you can see these are in um, a building frame here that's made from rolled steel joists. Tubing. Steel tubing or aluminium tubing or any other metal is often divine, defined by the outer diameter and wall thickness. Piping is usually defined by an inner diameter. So plumbing, structural uh, applications. Um, steel tubing has a high strength to rate ratio, meaning it is lightweight by strong. Uh, lightweight and strong. So the two most common are obviously round steel tube, square section steel tube, and you can see here's a, here's a usage which is steel tube furniture. And the advantage is it's durable, it's low cost, and it's lightweight. So that is steel tube. 
Stock forms of polymers, acrylic sheet. Acrylic is commonly supplied in sheet form. Um, acrylic sheet is available in a range of colours. It is also supplied in translucent, which is see-through or allows light to pass through, or solid colours. The ability to allow light to pass through means that it is used to manufacture shop signs. And you can see a shop sign there, manufactured from acrylic sheet. PVC film. This is PVC, polyvinyl chloride, and it can be supplied in a range of thin films. These are generally supplied clear. PVC film is used for all types of food packaging. The PVC film protects and preserves the food, and of course it's see-through so it can allow the consumer to see the food inside. You can see examples there of PVC film food packaging. Polypropylene granules. These are usually supplied in a rough cylinder shape, about 4.5 millimetres across, 4 or 5 millimetres across, available in a wide range of colours. They're supplied in a range of colours, and this is done by adding dye or colour during manufacture. This means that they're used almost exclusively for injection moulding of products. The coloured granules mean the final moulded product needs no extra finishing or coating. And you can see they're plastic bottle tops, which are injection moulded from polypropylene. Polythene powder. This can be supplied in natural colour, which would be a translucent white. Alternatively, it is available in a range of colours. Polythene powder can be used for plastic dip coating. This is a process where metal, usually steel, is heated and dipped into a fluidised bath of the powder. The powder fuses onto the object and cools to a smooth finish. So there is some plastic dip coated objects. PLA or ABS filament. PLA is polylactyl acetate, is a biopolymer, which means it doesn't come from oil, and it's available in a range of colours. ABS filament can, also, filament can also be supplied with carbon fibre reinforcement. Um, PLA filament or ABS filament is used in 3D printing. It's normally supplied, supplied rolled onto drums which attach to the printer and allow the material to be fed in to the 3D printer. Plastazote foam. This material is supplied in sheets of varying thicknesses and also tubing. Like most other polymer standard foams, it is available pre-coloured. Plastazote foam is used in sheet form as a primary component of, of like shadow foam tool storage. And you can see there's tool storage here um, that's been cut from different layers of the foam. Um, the the, the um, materials are resistant to oil and chemicals, so that's an advantage here. And also it's used for, um, widely used in foam pipe insulation. And you can see there a heating pipe which has foam pipe insulation. That was Mr Ridley's Design and Technology Stock Forms. Thanks for watching Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. I hope this has helped you with your revision. If it has, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. It really helps. Thank you very much and thanks for watching.